first time evaluating, and wow, did I totally get a wonderful person to evaluate. I can't thank you enough for setting me up with Charlotte, because she just blew it out of the park. <laughs> Was the, straw, was the story presented simply and clearly? I think so. You had your beautiful setting. I could feel myself on the road. I could feel the car just break down on top of me and just be like, oh my god, this is the worst day ever. Nothing's going to go my way. And I, too, have never changed a wheel. So I'm, I'm right there with this woman in your story. You had great enunciation. You only lost your verbiage like once, I believe. And you caught yourself, and you continued right on. You didn't take it and be like, oh, excuse me for one second. You just kept going, which is awesome. I believe that you held everyone's interest the entire time. I know that the five minutes, or six minutes, I guess, just went straight by for me. You know, I'm trying to write down notes, and I'm just like, oh, wow, this is, this is great stuff. It's just blowing my by. And I think that's the point of a great story, is to lose yourself in it, when you're listening and also while you're telling it. And the great thing about your storytelling capabilities is that you didn't lose your spot either. So that's wonderful because a lot of the time when a person's having a story, and I do this to myself all the time, I'll begin it and then I'll be like, I don't remember the point of my story. <laughs> <laughs> so you did not do that, wonderful. All elements were included, uh, as I said earlier, you could really feel the tacky little restaurant and I could feel my tummy bloat out when you said she was like eight months pregnant. It's like, oh, that was me yesterday when I ate Chipotle. <laughs> I understand. I could feel it. I could feel the key. I could hear the key turning in the mobile home. That was beautiful too. I mean, you just, you painted a p picture to the best of your ability and it was, it was great. You used wonderful vocal variety, especially in the beginning with your onomatopoeias and the tire blowing out and everything like that. So that was great. Uh, you whispered at the end, but you did lose a little vocal variety right near, like, maybe before your last minute, so just keep it in mind. The twist of the story, I loved it. And I even realized when I said there would be a twist, I was like, I probably shouldn't have said that. But then I forgot about it, and then you incorporated it, and it was perfect. It was a perfect little twist that it was the man at the beginning who helped. And then in the end, he ended up getting paid anyways. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I loved the goes around, comes around. And the full circle of the story, it just really keeps in mind for everybody that, you know, you never know what people are going through. And a simple, like, you could just buy a person a coffee, like the next person behind you or something like that, and that could really make their day. The one thing I would suggest for you to work on is, you didn't use the podium, which is awesome, but you kind of stayed right here. And with a storytelling, you can just jump around and just go everywhere. Like, the restaurant could be here, and the blown-out tire can be over here. So you can really use more of the space that's provided. And, and aside from that, it was wonderful. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you.